Hello, people of the internet. One good afternoon. Good evening. Uh, happy Monday to you all. Hopefully your week is off to a great start. Or if you're watching this at any other point in the week, hopefully you're having a great day. Nonetheless, we get to jump back on board with a little bit of Akmu for brand new music. It is now 6 p.m. There has been a metric butt ton of music that has dropped. But we got to start off with Akmu, and that's very exciting indeed. I loved Lovely last year. Very good time. And ever since then, I've been slowly but surely delving into the discography of Akmu, uh, primarily through Superstar uh, YG. I've been playing the rhythm games a lot in my free time, but they've got some terrific music that I've been very much obsessing over recently. And, well, when it comes to Akmu's recent stuff, uh, of course, Chan Hyuk had a solo release, actually had a couple of solo releases earlier, uh... While I was away, of course, he had a solo release, One Trillion, which still, in the month of June, is one of my favorite solos releases from this year. And the uh, he also had a feature with um, actress Yi Sung Kyun for a special single. I think it was like Eat, Sleep, Drink, Life or something like that. I forget what the title was, but that was also very, very good. And, well, we get both of them back on screen with the brand new song titled Hero. And, of course, this came with an album as well. I believe it's a mini album. Um, I do plan on getting around to it because I want to do this Akamura properly. It's just a time constraint thing because there are so many artists that drop. We're going to do the MV today and we're going to do the album tomorrow. Also because my schedule is completely open tomorrow. So if you're interested in the album, listen, keep your SPO for that because that'll be out tomorrow. But in the meantime, let's get the MV started. Shall we? Here! Oh, actually, hold on. Ooh, what intro should I do? Let's do this one. Here we go! Co-ed groups, I didn't realize it was going to be a problem for my intros now. Because last time we had a co-ed group, I wasn't using intros like this, I don't think. Because it would have been cards Icky and Lovely. Hmm. I should think through that. I'll figure it out later. Anyways, lots of music. Let's start. Here we go! I don't want to go. I don't want to go back to my home. I love the movement of this song. It's very smooth. And the vocals are so delicate. It's a little bit loud though. It is this type of song, isn't it? Just that you know along with the mv the song does have this kind of fanciful almost fairy tale like innocence to it it's very light it's very delicate it's very artsy almost I love how far forward the vocals are mixed in this because they sound so upfront. Both Suyun and Chang Hyuk. the switch for the bridge, hello? It, 
sense entirely differently now. But I love it. We're back to the story, storybook kind of like playful sound now. Wow, that bridge is kind of special. It's so smooth. It's so fun. It's there's this playfulness to it that is just so smile inducing and it just listening to this makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside. Oh, it's oh, it's so good. And for a duo that's got such very different vocal colors to them, they fit so well together. And It's almost like because they have that sheer contrast between their two voices, that connection becomes so much more pronounced. And of course, you know, them being siblings, they automatically have that chemistry in terms of just how they work together as people in a way. But their mic chemistry is spectacular. And it kind of is, at least from what I've pieced together with Akmu's music, this is quintessential Akmu. It's light and it's playful, but it's got this sense of musical complexity that's very tastefully done, but not at all over the top complicated. And it's brilliant. I do want to go back and listen to... Where's the bridge? This switch up for the bridge is tremendous because... <laughs> This very, very playful sense in the music, right? The melodic top line is very light. It's almost nursery rhyme-esque in the delivery of it. The instrumental, keeping that acoustic guitar, that's the thing keeping the melody, but also the rhythm part of the instrumental. And it's such a simple and almost raw formula that you can't help but kind of just bop side to side with it. I mean, we saw both, you know, Suyun and Chanhyuk doing that in the MV, and it very much feels like that is the natural action that your body needs to take for the song. But the bridge comes around. All of a sudden, the instrumental section has its own explosion and instead of it being this playful like story time song nah we get a sense of dramaticism to it and paired with the mv or you know big scary bear comes into play it's like yes that dramaticism is depicted both visually and auditorily sure we'll run with it but what i'm trying to get at is the song switches significantly here even though on Probably in reality, the jump isn't as big as what my ears are perceiving it to be. It's the sudden switch in the instrumental section. You feel the fact that this song, that something is happening within the story of this song. And it's it's def it's 100% my favorite part of the song. I think up until this point, the playfulness is very good. It's spectacular. It's the charm of this song, right? But the sudden dramatic turn turns this song into just a cutesy song into a full-on musical story for me. And interestingly, until we get to the second half of the bridge, the instrumentals takes a step up, but the vocals take a step down, and yet it still feels balanced for me. Oh, you know. 
ramp up the beat, double time it, get Changyuk's vocals up a little bit higher now. And then we're back into the kind of storybook song now. And it's that transition back into this motif, stylistically, is so seamless. And I... Oh, it's so well done. Oh my goodness. I'm so amped for this album now. I, I figured this was going to be quite charming, quite good fun to listen to. I didn't realize it was going to be this much fun to listen to. Wow. It's very, very tastefully done. And over the weekend, I was having a little bit of a phase of going through old, like, um, old fictional comedy movies from, like, the 70s and 80s, uh, like Princess Bride and stuff. And it's just, I love that there's been a connection like that. It's, you know, co completely coincidental that it happened to turn out this way. But it's kind of taken me back to that point in my weekend where I was just watching old movies. Because it very much feels like Akmu have done a kind of modern reinterpretation of the story from those old comedies that I was watching. And it's, ah, oh, I've just got a smile plaster on my face and I cannot be happier because of it. Oh, oh, terrific, terrific done, terrifically done indeed. Anyways, I'm going to wrap it up here for Akmu's Hero. Again, the album listen is coming tomorrow, so keep your eyes peeled for that if you're interested. But in the meantime, thank you all for watching along with me. Hopefully you enjoyed it as much as I did. One last request from me today, let's work together as a community to bring a little bit of extra happiness back into the world, whether it be you know, checking with your friends and family, holding the door open for somebody, or even picking up a piece of trash off the street. Just one small act of kindness to may brighten up someone else's day-to-day. And know that wherever you are in the world, should you ever be going through a tough time in your life, for whatever reason it may be, even though I'm just some guy in who waffles about music in his free time, you know that I will always be a friend, an ally, and a shoulder to lean on, whatever you need me. So take care of yourselves, take care of each other, spread the love, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye!